Hello. It is three o'clock in the morning. Uh, thank you guys for being here. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time being here, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It will really mean a lot to me. Uh, and if you learn something in this video, think about giving it a thumbs up. It really helps with the algorithm. But enough about that. You guys saw the title of this. If you are a beginner, I am going to answer this question for you definitively right now. Go out and buy yourself a 24 to 70 zoom lens. And if you are a Sony shooter, uh, specifically go out and buy the 28 to 75, uh, Tamron 2.8. And I'll tell you why in a minute, if you are a beginner photographer, the reason that you should buy this lens is it's going to give you the versatility that you need to go out and shoot all types of photography, because I'm guessing that as a beginner photographer, you don't yet know what type of photography you want to do. I know that when I started out, uh, I just shot everything, whether that was landscapes or architecture or uh, portraits, uh, which I do a lot now, or product photography or weddings, which I've shot a couple times now. You don't really know yet what type of photographer that you want to be. So going out and buying uh, this very versatile uh, lens is going to allow you to be able to shoot everything that you want to shoot and not find yourself uh, missing out on um, anything that you might need. The second reason that you want to go out and buy 24 to 70 is because it is going to give you all of the very popular um, focal lengths in one package. So with the 24 to 70, you are getting a 24 millimeter, you're getting a 35 millimeter, you are getting a 50 millimeter, and you're getting close to an 80, 80 millimeter, um, 85 millimeter, I'm sorry, which allows you to shoot at all of those different popular focal lengths and be able to kind of, uh, you know, find the style that you want to shoot in, um, figure out, you know, the type of photos that you want to make, which then leads me directly into the third reason that you want to go out and buy a 24 to 70 is because it's going to directly tell you the second lens that you should go out and buy. So myself as a portrait photographer, I knew very early that I wanted to be able to take photos, uh, and make portraits that had that really creamy kind of out of focus background. And with an 85, especially at a 1.8, you get that really shallow depth of field. And so me going out and buying my second, um, my second lens uh, was really easy because I had spent so much time shooting with the kit lens that I got with the uh, my first Sony camera. Um, and so those are the three reasons why I think that this is a great first lens for all beginners. Now, if you are a Sony shooter, specifically, here's the reason why you want to go out and buy this Tamron lens if you are a beginner. One, you probably don't have a ton of money, right? And so the value that you get for this lens, though I'm not gonna say that it's cheap, it is a great value at $900. And the direct um, kind of competition to this lens is the really great, really, really high rated um, Sigma 24 to 70, but that lens costs $1,100. And um, then the other option is the G Master 24 to 70, which costs, I think, $2,200. And even if you find it used, I think you're probably paying about $1,800. You could buy two of these lenses for the price of one G Master. Um, and so that's why I think if you are a Sony homie, this is the lens to go out and buy first. Um, now, when buying a 24 to 70, there are some uh, drawbacks. There are some kind of cons to going out and purchasing this focal length. Uh, the first one is that if you do want to uh, make photos and get that really creamy background, it becomes difficult because most zoom lenses um, most zoom lenses uh, only go as fast as 2.8. You can't really get a zoom lens that is faster than 2.8 unless you are buying into the new Canon uh, RF system. 
you can buy a 28 to 70 uh, f2 but that lens is about three thousand dollars and so as a beginner i just wouldn't recommend that you go out and buy a three thousand dollar lens um and then the second drawback if you're a sony homie uh, of buying this lens specifically this Tamron lens is that it's built in such a way that they did it to uh, keep costs down I'm not gonna say that it's built cheaply it's not built cheaply it's just not as it just doesn't feel as premium as the Sigma and the G Master it doesn't have a focus hold button it doesn't have an aperture ring it doesn't have a manual uh, autofocus switch and it doesn't have, you know, just the bells and whistles that you're going to get from a $2,200 lens. Um, but the value in this lens is that you're going to get all of the sharpness. You're going to get all of the focusing capabilities. And then one secret uh, about this lens and about most Tamron lenses, if you are a Sony homie, is that they have really good close uh, focusing capabilities. So if you find yourself getting into some product photography, these lenses are going to be great at helping you uh, become a better uh, product photographer, just because you can get closer when you're focusing. So the pros to buying the 24 to 70 is that you're gonna get all of the focal lengths, you are going to have the versatility of the lens and then you are going to be able to quickly figure out your second lens because you have gone out and practiced with this lens at all of those uh, super popular focal lengths. The drawback to a 24 to 70 is that you most of them are only as fast as about a 2.8. So, uh, and if you're a Sony homie, you get this lens for $900 a third of the price of the G Master and $200 cheaper than the Sigma. I would tell everybody a thousand times to go and buy this lens if you're a Sony shooter. Um, so that's it. Just a really quick video answering this question definitively, definitively, definitively. If you are a beginner photographer, go out and buy a 24 to 70 focal length uh, zoom lens. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. My name is Jamil. This is a boy named Jamil. Remember to like and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions about some lenses or any more questions about this lens specifically or the 24 to 70 focal length, please fill up that box. Let me know and I will uh, do my best to answer. Thank you guys for being here. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.